Um, so prior to the hip operation, um, I think I've been suffering from very intensive pain for about a year and a half prior. Um, but up until then, I was still very, very active, um, running, swimming, cycling, pretty much every day. Um, and it was um, after a, a, a small triathlon that I'd done when I really started to, started to feel some pain in my kind of groin and, and hip area. Um, and that gradually grew and grew and grew as the months sort of uh, wore on. Um, um, after about a year, I, um, I decided I should probably go and see someone about it and it wasn't just a, a pulled muscle. Um, so I went to see a hip specialist um, and at that point um, I was uh, told I'd had um, uh, osteoarthritis. So prior to my hip replacement, um, I would say that um, really sort of probably eight to nine months before the hip replacement, um, I'd started to take painkillers um, just um, intermittently, just when the pain was, was really bad. If I knew I was going to be going for a long walk, I would take painkillers to, to kind of preempt that pain I to get after a, you know, sort of 10, 15 minutes of walking. Um, I went to see um, a physio um, who said, okay, well, worst case scenario is that you might have um, some problem with worn cartilage and I'd probably recommend going to see a specialist. Um, to maybe see about having um, a steroid injection. So um, on his advice, um, I went to see a hip specialist and um, well, they referred me for an MRI scan um, and on the results of the MRI scan, um, I was told that I had advanced osteoarthritis um, and really the best course of action would be a full hip replacement. And on being given the, uh, the news that I needed a, a full hip replacement, um, it was obviously a massive shock. You know, it was the worst news that I could possibly really imagine being given. Um, you know, your initial, or my initial uh, thoughts were, you know, I had a baby, a baby son, just been born, and um, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to sort of play with him when he gets older. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to run around with him, and you know, more sort of um, immediately, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to help um, my, my wife and his mother, and um, just carrying up and down the stairs. Okay, so um, my advice to a friend um, if they're suffer suffering from uh, hip pain and um, um, would be to see someone immediately just to get it diagnosed if it was a hip replacement they need. Um, I, know, I suppose you know, the, the way I'd say to them is, um, is you've got to look forward past the operation to um, a lifestyle that you had and that you want to get back to. Um, I can walk as far as I want to walk. Um, I can swim as far as I want to swim. Um, I often do long distance cycling at the weekend. So my, um, my quality of life, um, pre-operation and pre-replacement and post-replacement um, are two very, very different, uh, uh, different things. Um, pre-replacement, uh, I was um, laid on the couch, not being able to get comfortable, uh, walking very small distances, having to really plan how I got from A to B, uh, making sure that I was get, getting trains and buses to, to work um, and not really partaking in any sports and come the weekend, not really doing anything uh, too strenuous or, or, or um, too active. Um, now compare that to my quality of life now, um, a year after the, uh, the replacement, um, and um, it's a very, very different picture. Um, you know, I can now throw myself into um, uh, pretty much any activity um, swimming, cycling, um, you know, walk. I walk a mile uh, to work, a mile home from work. Um, it's. It, I don't really have to restrict myself in, in anything that I, I do. I mean, it's, it's gone from um, being uh, learning of uh, that I've got osteoarthritis and needing hip replacement, of being a very scary, scary, scary uh, ordeal. Um, but then, um, as the time has gone on, um, I would say that. The experience um, has been a great, a great experience. Um, you know, it's been one of challenges, um, but to stay focused on where I wanted to get to um, has made me come through the other end uh, and and to be able to leave a lead a very active, active lifestyle. So if you're in a position where you have been given the news of needing a hip replacement, um, you know, I can't recommend um, going through the whole process enough. Um, you know, you are going to be worried, uh, you are going to be concerned, but um, you just need to get on and do it. So just to say a few words um, about me, where I'm at now, and where I hope to be in, in another year's time, 
I'm now um, a year uh, post hip replacement. Um, next year I'm planning on doing uh, cycling from uh, Land's End to John O'Groats, which I think will be a you know, great challenge. And for me, um, yeah, I'm turning 40 next year, so to complete something like that will um, mean uh, that I am fully fit, that my hip replacement is a distant memory, um, and I'm back to, uh, back to my normal self.